Hello, my name is All Knowing Ed, and today I'm going to show you how to install and set up VS Codium and also how to get the extension store back. So what VS Codium is, is exactly the same as VS Code. So this is the code editor, but it has all of the tracking stuff removed. So the telemetry and all the code spying and stuff is completely removed. So normally the original VS Code has what's called telemetry. So it tries to figure out information about you and about your computer and sends that to Microsoft, any crash logs that you have. And also Microsoft does things like spy on your code and steal it to train AIs like GitHub Copilot that they run. And so bits of code or code that's like yours could end up in other commercial products. So if you work for a company or work with proprietary code or things that are under NDA, you this could actually be breaking that and you want to just take all the measures that you need to make sure that your code stays private. So this is a great alternative for that. So it's going to look exactly the same, function exactly the same. And then with my modifications, it'll have the same extensions. So let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and Google VS Codium. So we can search for this. And here's the website. So install. So I'm going to use the installer here. But if you have something like brew or chocolatey, you would just copy and paste this into your terminal and it would install automatically. But the regular way to install is we're going to click download the latest release and it's going to bring us to GitHub. And then this top box here is going to be where the latest version is. So I'm on Windows. So we're going to have to go ahead and find the Windows installer. There's a lot of these because this works for a lot of OSs, but I'm using Windows. There we go. So VS Codium setup. This is the one that says x64 in the name and it has exe at the end. It doesn't have the word user in it. So here is the installer. I wish they would just put make this easier for non-technical people to know which one is which, but that's the one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the file manager. And we're going to go to the downloads folder. And in your downloads folder, somewhere in there, there should be the installer. So I'm going to go ahead and double click. If you get something like this, you can always click more info and then click run anyway. And then if you get what's called the UAC prompt or user account control, you can just click yes. That just allows the program to go ahead and install. So we're going to click accept next. These two, if you want to be able to right click and hit open in VS Codium, it'll add to that to the right click menu. And if you don't want it, you can just uncheck those two, but I'm going to check them next install. And then it should do everything for us. There we go. So if we click finish, we should go ahead and get the familiar menu here. So by default, everything should work except for extensions. So extensions are not the regular extensions. So we're, if you search for here, you won't be able to find the extensions that you want. So we're going to go ahead and bring back what's called the old marketplace. So make sure VS Codium is closed. Once you have it installed, you don't need the installer anymore. So you can actually right click and hit delete. But let's go ahead and get those extensions back. So this page is on their GitHub. I'm also going to have it in the description. It's the their documentation. So if we scroll down, let's try to find the section that says extensions in marketplace. Let's go all the way down to how to use a different extension gallery. So we want the the regular one, not the one that comes with this. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. It says Windows. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And we're going to go to that folder, right? So we can paste that inside of this bar here, and it'll just bring us to the folder. Instead of trying to find where this folder is, it's automatic. So we want to make a file in here called product.json. So I already did this earlier, but I can go ahead and remove this. So if you have Notepad++, we can make a new file with a right-click, new text document. Or if we have regular Notepad, we can just save it in here. So I'm going to open a blank text document here. And then we need to copy and paste this stuff. So you can click this button, and it should automatically copy that into our clipboard. So we can Control-V, 
And here it is. It's copied into this text document. And now we have to save it inside this folder. So file, save, and we have to put it in here. So we can use the same trick with copying this and putting that in this bar. And it should just bring us right to the right correct folder. So your name, app data roaming, VS Codium. So in this folder, we need to get rid of the text and type, what was it? It's product.json. So the word product.json and click save. And if you see it appear in the folder, you know you did it correctly. So we no longer need this. And now next time we open VS Codium, we can click the extensions button here and then this little refresh arrow. And now we're using the proper extension marketplace. So now we can, let's say I want to program in Python. I can type Python and now all of the different extensions people have made for Python come up or let's say C. If I want to program in C, I can have all of the different things here or even themes and stuff work here. So let's say I type dark theme, all of the themes and everything work completely exactly as they do with VS code. So if you know how to use VS code, you already know exactly what you're doing here. And now your code is safe. If this tutorial was helpful, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. If you have any errors or if you have any issues with the installer or getting the extension gallery set up, uh, just go ahead and ask below and I'll do my best to see if I can fix your issue. Thank you so much for watching.